I guess. I guess I'm like you. what's up cheryl i'm glad you are learning because that's what it's all about baby evolving growing learning making mistakes getting right back up and saying hey this time i ain't starting from ground zero i'm starting with some experience and then we continue to move forward all right so in a little bit cheryl i'm gonna get started on my I'm going to get started on the Snappic event that I'm going to be creating. Treasure, nice to see you again. All right. For the viewers on YouTube, I want you guys to check out the chat box. And there I have a link for Zoom so you guys can join the actual Zoom meeting we are having right now. I'm going to be diving into Snappic. I'm going to be creating an event really quick. I am definitely going to go out today and party. What does that mean? I'm going to be rocking a two-hour event today. I want to go out there. It's been a while since I haven't been out there. So uh, giving myself something to do and just embrace it. And, and see where that goes. Also set up a challenge for myself. It's the same challenge that I want you guys to set up for yourselves and that's get as many reviews per event. So the minimum is three reviews per event. And then, uh, so let me go ahead and minimize this. If you guys can hear me clearly, can you please go in the chat box and just Press uh, one, just just to make sure you guys can hear me pretty clearly. Thank you. All right, Treasure can hear me clearly. Very nice. All right. Hey, Cheryl, really quick here. I don't think I've seen you here on uh, the platform before. Let me go ahead and have your mic unmuted really quick. Uh, yeah, Cheryl, so wh where are you from, Cheryl? Hey, yeah, so I've been watching you for about a week or two, and I'm from Atlanta. I took my um, overhead photo booth the 1st of July. Hmm. I had a trial run with some... Um, classmates on the night and then I had my first paid event uh, for the Americans for Disabilities Act celebration in Atlanta and it was off the chain. Those people in wheelchairs, man, the smiles on their faces, they never had that opportunity, you know, on a traditional uh, photo booth because of the platform. So I'm just ecstatic, just ecstatic. But I 
I've learned so much from you. Um, you know, I have been having some challenges with the Lumba booth. Mm -hmm. um, the automatic um, thing wasn't really working for us. Mm -hmm. And so I was trying to do the, um, you know, setting it up. You were talking about it, doing the plus sign and all of that. I don't know what happened, but that wasn't working for me. So our video started out like real slow and they stayed slow for too long mm -hmm. before they actually fed up. So I need to, you know, get some more corners on Luma Booth for sure. Yeah, so, uh, but, uh, Luma, yeah, so congratulations on your first paid event. Uh, it, that that's always that, that's always nice to see the uh, the money hit your your bank account and then you down to and you're like yes this is a yeah. this, this is a business now absolutely absolutely very cool so thank you for all you um, Saturday my daughter helped me uh, with the event and I told her I said well go to YouTube I didn't tell her about your channel I said go to YouTube and and see what you can find about uh, Luma Boots. And so later on, I came back and I said, well, what did you find? She said, I found this cute young dude out there uh, talking about Luma Booth, and it was you. Yeah. <laughs> ah, so she found you. That's great. Yeah, I'm going to continue to put out content. Uh, the content that I'm going to be putting out uh, moving forward, it's going to be a little bit more, I want to say, uh, not, not an entry level because I want to make sure that the stuff that I'm sharing out there is relevant to where I'm at right now in hopes that it makes your life easier in your workflow a lot easier so with that being said cheryl and uh, treasure i'm going to go ahead and mute you guys for right now because i'm going to get started on creating the event here on snapic and then from there here let me go ahead and hit this really quick right here recording in progress there now i can record um, everything that i'm going to be sharing with you guys so yeah let me go ahead and do that and then I'm going to be playing the video back on my phone, sharing it with you guys so you guys can see those effects live right here on this video today when I create that event on Snapic. And as I'm going into Snapic, I'm going to show you guys why I do certain things with the speed ramps and filters. So I hope you guys enjoy this video uh, and thank you so much for tuning in. All right. All right. Let me go ahead and light up an incense real quick.
let's dive into this. So I'm going to go ahead and share my screen. All right, so I'm going to create a new event here. I'm going to make sure. And we are going to go with the next event. It's going to be a 360 booth session. So I'm going to go with the video effects today. Uh, usually, when I do a standard photo booth, I'll select all 360 photo booth booking. So we're just going to go with the effects. And I think the guy's name is Caleb. Could be wrong. I'll fix it on it right away. And then I want it to close later on this evening so that I can send the client the files. Right away. So around 10 p.m. solid. I'm going to hit next now. And let's go ahead and use the airdrop feature, my favorite. And then after that is a text message feature, which I like because when they put their phone number into the phone, snap it in the database, it'll say that, that later on we can text message them and send them a promo, a thank you, or the link to our Google profile so they can leave us a review. This is a good strategy. If you guys are not doing it just yet, try to apply it and see how that works for you guys. Because remember right now, it's about getting a bunch of Google reviews every single week so that Google starts putting your business in front of more eyeballs and you guys get more leads and hopefully that leads to more bookings and that means more money right so just wanted to share filters here I'm gonna go set up the code right here and hit next this is uh, not important right now so I'm just gonna hit next my sharing station for a smaller event, I usually leave a blank. So I'm not going to do anything right now. The sharing station, uh, but I'm not going to do anything fancy. And then the guests can decide on what type of filters they want. Um, the Beautify, the ladies love that one. And then. Another cool one right here is the K-Dash, black and white. That's a pretty cool one, too. I'm going to hit done. I'm going to go to next now. This is going to be the QR code that gives them access to the gallery. Since I have an iPad sharing station, I won't be using it today. All right, here comes one part. All right, not to select some videos. If I remember correctly, I believe I saved the video to have some pretty cool speed ramps that I, uh, we're going to start from scratch today, just so that I guys can give you a on how you would do it starting from scratch. 360 booth. These are some of the ones that I already have built in, some of the templates here. What I want to do is I'm going to select a slow reverse boomerang. And there's some that have uh, speed ramps, like the speed ramping right here. And this one has speed ramping. And for this one right here, I'm going to leave it at 1080 by 1920. That's going to be portrait mode. So when they play the video back, it's going to take up the entire screen on your phone if they're playing it back on TikTok or Instagram or on a Facebook reel. And then the frame rate, I love 40 to 60 frames per second. Personal opinion, I think that it looks like it says a lot smoother and then higher quality. And so for the overlay, I already have an overlay designed. I'm going to jump over to my Canva. Let's go ahead and open up Canva. And we're going to go to back here. And it should be here 
somewhere. Projects. See here. Anna, what account did you use to make the overlay for today's event? I can't find it. Oh, yeah, I think it was, was a guy named Caleb for a graduation. The second page for what again? Um, let me see here. Anthony. Mm. It should have been at the very top because it, it's the most recent one. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's on the third page? Second page? And it's titled Anthony? Yeah, so let's just always save a new one so it could be at the very top because I'm spending time looking for it. And there's a there's a ton. No, I'm still scrolling. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but uh, it's, it's labeled by the title. Right? So you said that the title is Anthony? Yeah, text text message it to me, um, because I'm I'm doing a, a live right now, and this part should have been a lot faster. So just just text it to me, and I'll airdrop it onto my computer, or, or text message it to me right now. Thanks, bye. All right, guys, so I have someone design my overlays for me now. That's another thing that I really didn't want to spend time doing anymore. Just because, like I said, as your business grows, you want to make sure you're handing over certain tasks to individuals and start delegating a lot of the business, you know, small actions to someone else so that you guys can focus on something that's really going to help the business. So uh, the individual just text messaged me the overlay. I'm going to go ahead and airdrop it so that I can put it right into. All right, let's go back to your screen. When it comes to the recording process, if you guys can try out 10 seconds, 
it records a good amount of time versus doing six to seven seconds. I like using 10 seconds because as the arm is rotating around, that means that more people, right? Say there's four people on the platform, they're going to get their moment to shine. Because if you guys have it at six seconds, for example, there'll be one person in the platform that steals that spotlight. So in order to keep everyone happy on the platform, I increase my recording duration to 10 seconds. Of course, you can bump it up to 12 seconds and, and uh, mess with those settings. Right now is 10 seconds, especially for the vertical. I'm uh, not the vertical, but the portrait mode template, the 1080 by 1920. And then my countdown interval, I like bumping it up to five seconds. The reason I go with five seconds on the countdown interval is because when I press power on the arm starts orbiting, as you guys know, it doesn't start off fast. It picks up speed. So say, for example, I hit, and I'm going to show you guys on my phone, when you guys hit power and it does the countdown, by the time it activates after the five seconds, the arm is already spinning at the pace that we want it to, whether we're reducing the speed or hitting plus on up the arm. All right. Okay, so now I'm in the timeline. And this is the fun part. So what I like doing is I like going through each and remove any filters that are already in because I want to use my own filters. And as you guys can see, there's no filters. I'm also going to get rid of the reverse playback. I want to customize that on my own as well. Reverse playback. And then we are off to number one. So right here, the playback range for the first second. What I usually do for the first second is I'll, I'll keep it at regular speed. Now, the reason I keep it at regular speed is because it's spinning. It captures one second of regular speed. And then for the second section, which is going to be from one to or 2.5 or three, whatever you decide uh, for this one, I'm going to three seconds from one to three. That's when I want the slow mode to kick in. So that's a nice transition. And I'm going to have that come in at a quarter speed. Like this part is going to be about eight seconds long, closer to 30 seconds long. So that's from one to three, OK? And then from three, and I'm going to bump this up right here, from three, because that's where the other one ended, from five, I can speed it up. 1.5 right and this section is only going to be 1.3 seconds long all right now one cool thing you guys can do go to, over to build a custom effect and then out the new motion trails right here and then you guys will see your image and and as you move around it's showing you the effect live right here the preview which is great so i'm going to go ahead and Bump this up a little bit, give it a different color. I think that color looks nice right there. That looks good. I'm moving back and forth. Save, okay? So I section number three from three seconds to five seconds. It's going to speed up. So and then we're going to start off at five now because that's where the five right here to seven. And we're going to slow it down for the speed. All right. And let's go ahead. So we are at exactly, and it shows you up here, we're at 20 seconds. So, so far, this video, when it's done, it's rendered. It's going to be 26 seconds long. Uh, and that's uh, right here. And then the other one ended picking up right left off, seven. There. And then for the eight seconds, 1.5. That's from seven to eight. And then from eight to nine. Well, actually, you can do it from eight to 10 to have less speed ramps. Uh, but from what I'm going to do is I'm going to set it to slow down like at uh, a half the speed or a quarter speed quarter speed for the last second 
here from eight to nine, from nine to 10. I'm gonna play it at half, half the speed. If I move it to one, keep rise right up here. You guys can see that it's 24. If I speed it up, it's gonna drop, drop, drop. So this is fast. So I'm gonna slow it down to add effect. I'm gonna add an effect. Let's see what I'm gonna add here. Let's go into, hmm, I don't like any of these. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go build a, I'm gonna add effect. And then I'm gonna select the overlay library. And I'm gonna use uh, some shutter. Let's use some shutter. Flash effects. And I use this shutter for the last few seconds. And then hit save. You guys know this particular one doesn't have any boomerang. I kind of like that, but you guys can always switch it up. So the boomerang, we already seen the boomerang. We've seen that actually too much to a point where it's become uh, kind of this allows speed ramps moving forward and everyone gets more, which is why I don't use the reverse boomerang. Of course, like I said, you guys can definitely put that in if you want, but now I am at a full 10 seconds of recording. According to the speed ramps, 27 seconds. And that, and now I can go to save, and it's speed ramping. Now, because I made those here and put speed ramping number one. When I see it on my phone, I can see that this is speed ramping number one, and I know which one I'm actually activating to use for the event. I'm going to hit. Save. I'm going to go to next. I'm going to go to create event. Now the event is created. Now I'm going to stop sharing the screen. I stopped sharing the screen. My phone so you guys can see my actual phone screen when I launch. Snap it here. Let me share the screen with you. Okay. All right, let's go ahead and launch Snapic. This one's called Caleb, so I'm going to select this one. Refresh. Scrolling down to the front camera, I'm going to change it to my rear camera. And for my rear camera, I'm going to go with the back right here. So let's go with the back camera. Once again, for the camera section, when you guys go with the back ultra wide, you'll know that the footage comes out a little bit grainier, uh, which is something that I don't use. If I had like a Pro 14 Pro Max, the videos come out a little bit clear. But if you guys have just a dual camera and not three cameras, the back camera would be best until you guys upgrade your phone. Okay. And then I'm going to go to start photo booth. And then from there, I'm going to go to Stabilizer. A lot of you guys um, still have a lot of shaky footage going on. I see that on your Instagrams. So just come over to Stabilizer here and then select what Stabilizer you guys want. I, I usually never use Standard. I'm either using Cinematic or Cinematic Extended, just depending on the surface that 360 booth is on and just how much motion we're getting on the, on the arm that causes the video to come out somewhat shaky. But for the most part, I use cinematic. Okay, I'm gonna hit submit. Start the booth, video, and now I'm hit start. And it's gonna record for 10 seconds. So I'm just gonna do right here. And just pretend it's spinning around the arm. You can change the speed of the arm, but we're recording for 10 seconds, and that's 10 seconds right there. Now, look at how fast the video is rendering. 
this is uh, one thing that I like is that the rendering speeds are pretty fast. So it's going to take a few seconds. I want to say maybe less than 15 seconds. And then we get to see the playback. Let's wax on, wax off. So it's slowed down big time from normal speed. And then we're going to get a quick, it's going to speed up in a few seconds here. So we got the motion blur there and it's sped up and then we slow it down again. And keep in mind that everyone's that's on that booth, it's going to get that moment to shine. And then we sped up a little bit again. And then we're coming towards the end now where the shutter should kick in and the shutter's right there. So I'm happy with this one. I'm going to keep it. I'm actually going to use this one for today's event. I'm going to go ahead and uh, tap to finish. Uh, and that's exactly what I'm going to be doing for today's event. I'm going to use that one. I'm happy with it. And if you guys, for example, let me just go back. You uh, sharing something with you guys. So. Oh, okay. So if you guys wanted to explore this and wanted to get more creative, what you guys can do is you guys, for example, can do this. You can click on this one here. And then you can save it to your library and hit save. And now that's in your library, you can come here and do this. Where is that? There's an option to. There's an option here somewhere to, to duplicate. Where did I see that option? So I'm going to name this two, and the only thing that I'm going to change is the frame rate from 20 to 30 frames per second, and then hit save. So this one here, 40 to 60, cancel, and then two, 20 to 30. This is going to allow me to share another video with you guys, because when I'm at the event, I'm going to be going back and forth. So you guys can get a visual of how it looks with the same exact template, same exact overlay. The only thing that we are changing is the output frame rate from 40 to 60 over to 20 to 30, I believe it is. Yeah, 20 to 30. So I'm going to do some experimenting today, guys. I'm going to share those results with you, and I hope this video helps. All right. Thank you so much for tuning in. I will be uploading this video onto YouTube, Patreon page, cross social media platforms. So you guys can kind of get, get an insight of just how I set up my overlays and speed ramps on Snapit. Have fun and good luck if you guys have an event today. And if you guys don't have an event today, go ahead, continue marketing, get familiar with the software, and just dive deep into it because when you get booked, you wanna make sure you go out there and perform. All right, thanks. Recording. All right, sweet. Now we get to put, load up everything, baby. Let's go. What's up? everybody on instagram hey guys this video that i just made i will be uploading it to youtube and then you guys can go in there and kind of check out my settings on snapic uh the video looks pretty cool what i did today though differently is i duplicated that template with the same overlay and the only thing that i changed it wasn't the speed ramps it wasn't the recording time i changed the frame output so uh, option number one is going to be 40 to 60 frames per second. Option number two is going to be 20 to 30 frames per second. And we're going to get a visual on how that looks real time. We're going to go ahead and grab that information, right? Make a video edit and then present it to you guys. So when you guys are ready to book an event, and you guys can determine whether you want to use the 40 to 30. I hope this video helps. Thank you so much for tuning in and good luck on today's event, guys. Peace.